Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 100 of Darwell20's Modern Skyblock series. That's right, it's episode 100. I don't know how to celebrate because I'm not the type of person that celebrates arbitrary numbers, but it feels like a meaningful thing, so I feel like I should be doing something, I just have no idea what. Uh, but hey, uh, we completed 16384 storage cell, so does that help? Is that cool? I hope that that's meaningful enough for y'alls. Uh, so we got advanced calculations complete. Booyah. Which means we can get into the calculator mod. It's been a really long time since I've played with calculator. Um, quest complete flux. I didn't realize there was a flux quest. Is flux in this pack? It totally is. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> I didn't even know that Flux was in the pack. This is the old version of Flux. Oh my goodness, that is the old version for sure. Um, to be fair, I haven't updated the mod pack in a really long time, and I'm super duper due to update the mod pack. But I've been avoiding updating the mod pack, and I'll tell you why. Well, I've told you why multiple times. Um, I, the, the reason I'm avoiding updating the mod pack, as you may or may not be aware, hello, goodbye, where'd you go? Oh, hello, stinky enderman. Uh, is just because like I know there's a bunch of quest changes, um, so if I were to update the mod pack, all of a sudden, like, it would probably, I don't know how badly it would mess up my quest book, and I'm kind of afraid to even try. Like, a smart person would be like, oh, I'll just update the pack. Yeah. I don't know. So, uh, environmental tech. We've got enough palladium to get a tier 4 void ore miner. Should we do that? I feel like that's a smart move. Right. So last episode we wrapped up by, by getting an ultimate universal cable here in advance of um the decision that we're gonna be upgrading this to a tier four so we should probably crystal lens um take care of this so all the structure frames tier three all the structure panels we'll see if i can get all this stuff cleaned up nicely Cool. Nice. Okay. So that is as much as I can get. So to get you upgraded to the next tier, uh, which it's 100% time for, uh, we can grab our environmental tech this doohickey. Um, so you are going to need first to be upgraded to the next level, right? So you're gonna go, but I don't want you to use my crystal laser lens. So let's get a block of diamond and let's get a lens, a clear lens, if you don't mind. Um, void or minor tier four, that is a clear lens. That is my crystal lens. So don't waste that guy. We need 56 structure frame tier fours, right? Um, and then we're going to need 56 structure panels. So I basically need five more structure panels. Cool. Um, and then we need 56 structure frame tier fours. Um, so let's teach you this guy, which shouldn't be a problem. There might be a few bits of auto crafting that need to be done, but we'll find out pretty much right now. So if I want a structure tier four, 56, we have all the stuff for it. So that's pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. How many modifiers do I need? 12 null modifiers. Um, so I wouldn't mind a few more speed modifiers if I can. Um, so to get those, we're gonna need, so I need a total of 12, so I need four more. So that shouldn't be too bad. And then my structure should be done. But let's get like a bunch of redstone. Oh wow, I forgot how much redstone we had. Thank you, chickens. Uh, Micah is uh, still a limited resource, so that's okay. But let's go see if that's enough to place this bad boy. I might need another laser core. Because I feel like I need five of them. Cool. 
Cool. We have one. All right, so you build, and you'll use null modifiers where appropriate. Tier four void ore miner coming up. And we'll see how much power this is using in a second once he activates. 11,000 RF a tick. <whistles> That's a lot of RF. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so your output is zero? Explain that. Explain to me how your output is zero. I don't understand you, weird machine. Input zero, output zero. I am literally shrugging my shoulders at this point. How about you? You're doing reasonably okay. So that's a thing. I mean, I do have access to Flux. I might update just that mod and just see if it like is a problem. Because that mod by itself, it's pretty cool, but like... I know the newer version's a little bit more stable. I've been using it lately in some of my other playthroughs. Um, so part of me is just like, mm, flux, that's super handy because it means you can uh, basically have wireless RF, which is always a good thing. Um, all right, so you're running, I presume? Yeah, you are, good job. Good job, you. Um, and now if we check environmental tech, hopefully we've shown up. Hey, Ionite, our very first Ionite. So that's cool. Uh, now we just need a whole stinking buttload of that stuff. Really what it comes down to. We need a whole lot of it. Because that's how this mod works. You have to let each each, bot, each void or miner run for a bajillion years. But theoretically, um, we are getting into the home stretch. Because that thing should run really long. Um, and really quite fast, especially at 11,000 RF a tick, which doesn't seem to be putting too much of a strain on my system, but we should just keep an eye on things uh, to make sure that that's accurate. So you're just like zero, right? Like what if you, I wanna like turn you off for a minute. So your frequency is fusion, but if I set you to, no, I just want you to be off. Are you losing power now? No, because why would you be? Input, output. I guess maybe like the rule is that maybe it's full of power, it doesn't need to output. I don't know. All right, well, energy back on. I guess we'll just figure it out. At some point, I'll rearrange my power in our base because it's actually gotten to the point where it's a little ridiculous um, as needed. So what should we do today then? Which mod should we play with? So we have advanced defense. We also have calculators, which is cool. We could also um, head to the Twilight Forest, which is also cool. So let me think about this stuff. All right, I think today I'd like to really quickly knock out this questing, hopefully. So sturdy casing. We have it on auto craft, but the quest is not marked complete. So, hey, look, quest complete. <laughs> look at all the things completed. Sweet. Uh, impregnated materials. So I just need an impregnated stick. Um, which hopefully just two wood and a seed oil. Look at all the quests complete. Seed oil. Is that cool? Impregnated stick. Cool. All right. Now the problem I'm running into is when I look at the quest book, it says in order to unlock um, Twilight Realm, we need to complete Life in the Forest engines. But when I look at Life in the Forest, I don't see a quest named engines. I see a quest named One Block Farms, and I'm hoping for some reason um, that that's just like mislabeled somehow. Uh, so in order to get this, I need shaping glass, which is the thermionic fabricator, which I thought I had one of already, but maybe not. Thermionic fabricator. Can we knock that out super quick? I just need some glass. Let's request like 100, because why not? Right, and then I can boop, ba doop, boop, boop. Cool. Quest updated. Impregnating materials. Quest updated. Thermionic fabricator. Quest updated. Let's get this knocked out.
Um, one block farms. Wow, that's a lot of things. Look at all you farms. Look at all you farms, huh? At forestry, farm. Uh, so these are all these guys, right? So we need a farm, a mushroom farm, a gourd farm, an infernal farm, and a peat bog. Okay. A farm. I guess managed is the one that I want. Yeah, all these need to be managed. So a farm that's managed. So for this, we need flexible casings, which is bronze, slime, and emerald. Now, are all these flexible casings? I'm hoping that the answer is yes. So if I got a bunch of bronze, let's say I wanted six of these, right? Because that's how many I need, or is it five? One, two, three, four, five. Um, so bronze times 20. Bronze times 20. Cool. Emerald times 10. And slime times 10. Does that seem reasonable? Um, and that needs to be just uh, made in a thermionic fabricator. So we want to plop you down. And normally I go through all this trouble because I'm like worried about power. That's not gonna be the situation today. I'm just gonna like let this thing waste RF all day long because I don't care. So you, if I'm not mistaken, looked something like this. Missing liquid resource, but that's okay. We'll get more glass for you. I know it has enough. I'm just making sure that we definitely have enough. That'll do, right? Um, so now we can get our farm. Whoops. Uh, now these things are just crafted straight up, right? Now we're gonna need some bronze electron tubes and basic circuit boards. Um, and then we're going to need some apatine electron tubes, some lapis electron tubes. And I think these are all pretty much the same. So bronze. Let's get like a stack of redstone. Appetite. Lapis. Blaze. Right. And then the last one being... Infernal is blaze. Oh, that's right, peat bog. Peat bog will need obsidian electron tubes. So if we came down to this guy and we cleared all this out. That's wrong. That's wrong for sure. Something like that, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, hey, there we go. That's what I want. So we'll get a couple of you. One, two, three. Does that sound fair? Uh, and then you. That should be working. Oh, hello. Cool. Okay. Uh, Apatine, I'm assuming is this, but I didn't actually check the recipe. Hey, it is. Look at that. And then bronze. Cool. And now let's see if this actually completes all those quests, right? So we want a one of these. Oh, that's right. I need the two the the, the things. Are they all tin? They are. So it's just a carpenter with water, tin, and redstone. So basically, I just need five of these. So do I have a carpenter with water handy? Probably not. I thought I would. But I guess I don't. You sure? 
Oh, hey, look, I have one of these. That'll help. I'm totally gonna want that. Are you cool? Let's get a casing. And bronze. Carpenter. Check, 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 check. Cool. And then you can just do that with that on. Cool. Five circuit boards. Nice. Okay. Now we can make all the farms. And hopefully this will be a completed quest. Right? So there's that farm. There's that farm. There's that farm. There's that farm. And then we want the peat bog. Cool? Everybody? All right. Now, though, did you complete whatever engines is? Quest updated, one block farms. Yes, I agree. I don't know what engines is, and it's making me a little bit nervous because I don't see anything in here named engines, right? So there's feeling moist. There's large automatic farm attracting animals circuits with upgrades. I'm like zooming out to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, the centrifuge, peat, engines. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That just requires peat. Okay, I need bog earth and I need peat. All right, so bog earth ain't so bad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you put a bucket of water. And this usually takes a while, but I'm wondering if that helps. Oh, hello, it does. That's cool. I'll take it, right? Hooray, peak quest complete. Nice. The reason it wasn't jumping out to me is it doesn't have that that shape that indicates it needs to be completed for some purpose, right? So peat fired clockwork and biogas engine. Forestry engine. Um, so peat fired doesn't look too bad. Clockwork. And biogas just needs a couple bronze gears. Cool. Nice. Engines complete. So that knocks out the forestry quest line super fast, right? Quest updated engines. Yay. I'm assuming I don't have to do anything else with them, right? Hey, quest complete, Twilight Realm. Booyah! That is another whole chapter in the bag. That is cool. I like that a lot. Nice. All right, so we've got all the things cooking that we needed to get cooking. Everybody's happy. Uh, I'm going to put you away for the time being. I don't think I need you at the moment, nor any of you guys, and that should be good. Oh, he's got to keep building guidance on me, though, because that's how it works. All right, Twilight Realm time. Sweet. Um, sweet. So what's the Twilight Realm have me doing? Do I have to do all the Twilight quests? This is actually something I'm really interested in finding out, right? Do I have to do all the Twilight quests? Because this is what's required. Let's find out. So the Twilight Realm, right? There's uh, the questing ram. And then giant problems. Oh, boy. That does require the whole... Twilight Adventure, which is cool. I don't have a problem doing that. It's been a while since I've like legit played through the Twilight Forest, only because in my single player Let's Play, I was having problems with the Twilight Forest. Um, but yes, I need both to get to Mystical Crops, right? Um, environmental Tech, we're still working on like this passive generation of stuff. But if I want to unlock Mystical Crops, which will eventually unlock Equivalent Exchange, right? Um, we need RF tools, which we're waiting on environmental tech for, 
chickens collecting from roosts shouldn't be too bad, but chickens tier 8, which is just going to be a lot of dire off-camera pain. A lot of dire off-camera pain. Um, RF tools, uh, and, and then the Twilight, right? So just RF tools and chickens, but also Twilight Forest. So should we go on a little adventure today? Does that sound cool? I think it sounds cool. I'm all about going to the Twilight Forest. So how are we on this stuff? We're good. I'm going to do this um, the Dire is OP way. Normally when I would do Twilight Forest, I would um, kind of, you know, shirk off all the the nonsense of super overpowered items and weapons and all this craziness, right? Um, but I don't want to do that. This time I go through, I want to go full bore, right? Let's just go in with all the most powerful gear that we can think of. And hopefully uh, we'll be good. And we do have this thing, right? So what we're going to want to get first, I guess, is just going to the Twilight Forest, which I assume getting to the Twilight Forest um, is the same as in vanilla Twilight Forest, which is just, you know, so so you want me to get a dungeon map. So first, yeah, body of water, grass, uh, flowers, and all that stuff. Throw a diamond in, throw a dragon stone in the water and jump in. Really? A dragon stone? That's like one of these from Batania. That's uh, a, a mana diamond. Well, let's get a diamond. Here's what I'm gonna do. Wow, that's fast. But it's gonna make Twilight Forest all the better. Um, one, two buckets. We're going to want whatever we have a lot of poppies. I don't know, we should have like lots of sunflowers. Maybe over here. Hey, blue orchids sound like a good thing to do. Um, do we have grass somewhere? It says it should be grass that's around it. Do we have grass? We have some grass, yes. So since this tends to be... Undo, undo. Right, so in theory, and technically you don't have to be on the corners, right? So, oh, that's right, we need the flowers first. Hey! It was Dragonstone. Well, would you look at that? It's a good thing I read the quest description. Because I am a pro at reading quest descriptions. I am the best at it. Anyone who says otherwise is telling the absolute truth, because I'm really not. Hooray! Into the Twilight Forest oh, we go. So let's... My real hope, and I'm super duper crossing my fingers on this, um, is that we don't run into those lag issues that I got in my single player Let's Play. But I've played Twilight Forest otherwise and not run into them, right? So this Twilight Forest playthrough, because you guys have seen me do Twilight Forest enough probably, is gonna be like super duper go crazy with lots of high tech stuff. So it's gonna be flying and it's gonna be powered armor and it's gonna be powered weapons and bows and all that crazy stuff um, that I usually don't do in Twilight Forest because I usually like to try and go through it like legit, but I've done enough Twilight Forest that I could probably, you know, do the thing. All right, so at some point this world will load in around me. At least I suspect as much. Oh, hello. We landed right next to one of these guys. But we can't do him yet, right? We have to do other things first. Oh, hello. Yeah, see? Quest updated dungeon map. So this is indicating to me that I can't be doing this right now, right? I don't, we, have to, we have to do the courtyard thing. So first things first is we have to find a raven, right? Um, so we did our dimension thing, but now we have to get a blank magic map. So blank magic, just to see if the quest changed. Uh, nope, just paper around a magic map focus. And a magic map focus can usually be found, um, we have to get these birds. Thank you. Good. Um, and you can be used to get a magic map focus. We need torchberries and glowstone. And torchberries can typically be found underground. Oh, 
Hooray! So theoretically, I should be able to do this and that, like magic map focus. See how that works? Right, interdimensional awesomeness. That's what's up. Uh, you have 22k of infinite energy left, so that's good. Uh, what I should probably do before we get too deep into things is make sure I know exactly where we came in at. So that would be this way. Let's just journey map mark this thing, right? So waypoints, exit, save. Cool. So if I open this dude up, ta-da! Oh, cool, that's where I am. Okay, where am I on the map? Oh, I'm way in the northeast corner. Okay, cool. So... Why would it indicate that there's a boss here? Shouldn't I be seeing... Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Nice. Hello, Naga. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, see the lag, though? That has me a little bit concerned. I mean, that's, you know, a hefty amount of lag. But it might be world gen lag. To be fair, I did generate a bunch of terrain just now. I don't think I've ever done Twilight Forest in, like, the super OPG way with all kinds of high-tech gadgets. Tick rate seems to be better, though. Oh, yeah, it's definitely calmed down, so that's good. All right, I should probably just get down to his level. Come here, Naga. I mean, the tick rate seems okay. Hey, look at that. Cool. All right, quest complete, Naga. Sweet. So did that complete here? Yes, it did. So we have to do the questing ram too, which I don't think is too bad. So do we do this and then like the twilight? Where's twilight forest? Down here. So that got me done here. Slay the lich at the top of the tower to retrieve the scepter. Sweet. So that shouldn't be too bad. We'll just break our way inside one of these doors. Um, there it is. Okay, so now this has been unlocked. We can fly right to the top of the tower without too much worry or concern. Just skipping all the things. All right, now you, I have to reflect your projectiles back at you, right? Okay, I thought I did that correctly, but then there's a book trying to get me. Alright, I got one of them. Woot! That's a second. Okay, to reflect the Ender Pearl projectiles back at the shielded boss is basically what has to happen. And I'm doing a kind of bad job of it. Oh, hey, now we got it. Sweet. Can I hurt you now? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And got him! Booyah! Quest complete. All right, let's put away our junk, and we'll be right back. Cool, quest complete. All right, so unfortunately that's wrapping up point for the episode. So let's just take a break here. We'll come back next episode. We'll knock out the rest of the Twilight quests. Hopefully by then, our environmental tech will be close-ish to getting a Tier 5. Just out of curiosity, how much Ionite do we have at the moment? Um, not enough to be on that page. 13. We have a ways to go, but we'll figure it out. For now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.